Claude for Opus versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. Who wins today? We're going to be testing them out side by side and just running some examples and seeing how it goes. So essentially what you've got here is Claude. And then if we come over here, we have AI Studio. And we can basically test them out side by side, see how they perform and see which gets us the best results, my friend. And one thing I'll say from what I've seen so far, Claude for Opus is crazy powerful, but so is Gemini 2.5 Pro. So let's get straight into testing them and we'll see how it goes, all right? We're gonna take these example prompts and we'll pull them up side by side. So the first thing that we're gonna build is Space Invaders game, all right? So I'm just gonna pull them up and then we can test them, see how they perform alongside each other. The other thing that we'll try and do here is just one shot them, right? So we'll try and see how they perform for one shots. Maybe we'll go back and forth a little bit between them. But the main goal here is just to keep make it easy and, and keep testing them side by side. So let's give it a cheeky whirl. So this is Claude for Opus, as you can see. And we're going to select Gemini 2.5 Pro from the list. This is super expensive, but that's the price to pay for you. So we're going to run this now and we're going to run this prompt. That basically says, create a visually stimulating Space Invaders game where aesthetics triggers loads of dopamine and looks amazing on screen, plus loads of stuff happening. Make sure you have a central player that can shoot, etc. Single HTML. And we'll run the prompts basically at the same time, just see how they perform side by side. And we'll get the party started. So what you can see here, actually, this is quite interesting already, is the AI Studio was stuck in thinking mode. Whereas if we go over to Claude over here, you can see that actually... Claude went straight into creating the content. So you can trigger thinking mode on Opus as well. You can do that inside the UI if you just toggle the extended thinking option. We can see him coding. It actually looks like AI Studio is a lot faster for a code. Look how quick that is coming out. It's blasting it out. So we've got the code back from Claude. Let's take this, copy that, and we'll go over to Online Preview, and we'll see what we got back here. So this is the example from Claude Opus. Honestly, not really that much happening. If we try and shoot right here, nothing really comes up in the scores. It looks pretty cool though, to be fair to it. Let's have a look now at the code from AI Studio. We'll grab that. Here we go. That is looking way better. I think AI Studio wins that one. Look at that. It's actually really fun to play. I'm not gonna lie to you. The effects are crazy. If we go back to Claude now, you can see there's nothing going on there. It's not that interesting, not much happening, etc. I'm going to say that AI Studio won the first one, Gemini 2.5 Pro. Let's move on and we'll start the next round. So what we're going to say is build dopamine drums, visual circular drum machine interface, tap to beat, blah, blah, blah. We'll run that. Basically, we're trying to build like a drum machine sort of game. Let's see if we can actually do this with Opus as well. We'll see what we get back. Mate, in the meantime, I'm going to get back to playing that game. That was incredible. See, the effects are just insane. By the way, if you want to get this stuff, feel free to get it inside the AI Success Lab. Completely free. You can grab all the prompts from me from today. Plus, there's tons of other training in there, as you can see on the left-hand side. But basically, all the tests that we're running today, you can see all the prompts, steal them from me and run them yourself. And you can do it for free inside AI Studio. So, everything you're seeing is free if you're using Gemini 2.5 Pro. You gotta bear in mind as well, like Claude is a lot more expensive, right? So Claude, if you're using that on Open Router, the, the prices are like, they're crazy for Opus 4. Whereas for example, AI Studio, you can actually code for free if you're just using it within the token limits. And if you're absolutely rinsing it, I think it's about 10% of the price, something like that. It's definitely more than 50% cheaper. And when you're building this stuff out, so far we've seen better outputs from 2.5 Pro Preview, and also it's a lot cheaper too. So let's test the next one from Claude. This is for the drum machine. So let's see what we've got back here. It's looking pretty cool to be fair, look at that. So this is dopamine drums, the one and only. I've actually muted that, so I'm just gonna unmute that. It's gone mad, it's gone mad, I'm gonna have to shut that down. It went mad, but that was really cool. To be fair, like the output from Sonnet, from Opus Air was just insane. That was absolutely insane. Let me just plug that code back in there for you. Just don't press it too much. I've never seen anything like that from an AI before. That was crazy stuff. All right, let's go on to AI Studio now. We'll see what we get back here. So we're going to take the code 
and then plug that into LiveWeave. This is from Gemini. Plug. Here we go. So side by side, this is quite interesting actually. If you look at them side by side, you can see here that Gemini 2.5 Pro, it doesn't look as nice visually, right? That looks way nicer. But if we actually compare, you've also got options for tempo, which is pretty cool. So let's play this. Incredible. Mate, music lessons would have been way more fun with AI back in the day. Yeah, honestly, if I'm going with either of them, I think you're going to go with this one. It just looks a lot more modern, a lot more interesting. This one is cool, but I just don't think the AI looks as nice. It's amazing that both of them actually work for the sound effects and everything like that. And literally all we did was just give it one prompt. Both of these tools are crazy good, crazy powerful. Should we go make it go mad again? Let's try that again. Oh, that was enough of that. You get the point. Crazy stuff. All right. You could play with that all day. To be fair to both of them, like they both create awesome stuff, but if I had to pick one, I'm going with Claude Opus. So just to be clear here, Gemini won the first round, Claude won the second round. They're both creating awesome stuff. Let's keep it going now. Keep it rocking and rolling. So next up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna build a rage clicker game with one giant button that makes money flash the screen and triggers dopamine inducing sound effects. Evolve the button every 100 clicks, single HTML. Let's plug that into AI Studio. We'll plug this in here as well. For this one, I wanna see how long it's gonna take, so I'm actually gonna start the timer for both of them, see what we get back. So AI Studio is pretty fast right there. Both kind of neck and neck, both coding out like maniacs. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I can see it's neck and neck on the votes as well. A lot of people still loving Gemini, to be fair. So Claude took 42, 42 seconds. Gemini, I don't know what it's doing here. It's gone mad. This is the audio ID that's coding out here. So if you actually look at a speed test, this is taking a lot longer with Gemini, but it's all about the outputs, isn't it? It's all about the quality of the outputs. Is it broken? Yeah, look at that. It's actually failed to generate the content. See, so we've got this error message at the bottom that says failed to generate content. That was after a minute, so Gemini failed here, but let's see what we got back from Opus. Copy the message, we'll plug that in. Here we go. And let's start rage clicking. All right, so it should change at 100 clicks. Wow, smashed it, smashed it. Let's be honest, if I had to pick one, I'm going with Claude. Gemini totally failed there, crashed, couldn't handle it. Claude was like, no problem, mate. Let's make it as weird as we can, and did its magic. Claude has already taken the lead on the tests. Let's try another one. So we're going to say, create a one-tap flying bird game with trippy backgrounds involving music, explosion effects. Every tap triggers particle bursts and sound pings, single HTML. So we'll go inside here. Just to be clear here as well, Claude was a lot faster on that round. Claude actually created the output after 42 seconds. And this is without enabling extended thinking. Let's go in the settings here. Does anyone know how to enable extended thinking inside OpenRooter? Or do we have to switch the models here? I'm also, whilst we're waiting for that, I'm intrigued to see what the usage is on that. Like how much money did we spend? So let's go over to activity. We'll see what we're spending here. It's not that bad to be fair, it's not that bad, right? So if we look at the last few tests, 40 cents, 27 cents, 23 cents, they all were one shot, so we didn't do that much coding. But the outputs we got back were really good, and it didn't cost that much for code that was just done first time around. Let's copy this and check it out. Pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Not bad at all. Let's take a look at Claude. Wow. Ooh. This is a close tie, to be fair. I'm going to say it's a tie. Yeah, I'm going to say they're tied there. Both of them were really good. Both of them good outputs there. I was impressed. Let's try this one. So we're going to say, build a racer game where you control a ship dodging obstacles to the beat of music. But I'm not going to put the music in, actually, because it's... Why not, actually? Let's just try it. So we're going to run that, and then we're going to go over to here. The room... Let's see what we get back. To be honest with you, from what I can see, here's the crazy thing, it's like the outputs are very similar, but how are you gonna get through there? That was madness, absolute madness. But to be honest with you, like, Gemini is free. It's not costing us any money to generate this stuff, right? So in that way, I would say Gemini actually won. 
So I'm going to put 2-2 two, two for this, and the next one could be the decider. So we've got the output back from Claude here. We should take a moment to appreciate how good these models are and how far we've come, by the way. Like, it's unbelievable. So we're going to plug this one in. Say that. How do you play it? Ah. I see. See, so move the mouse like that. Here we go. Yeah, that is cool. All right. Gemini is going to have to come back with something impressive to beat that. Let's see what we got here. We'll copy that code. We'll plug it in, peeps. Last round, who's going to win? Oh, it's let us down there. We have to upload our own music. That's not impressive at all. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. What I'm going to say is let's go to Suno AI. And from here, we're going to take one of our songs. Let's go inside and see what we got. If you're not familiar with it, basically, it's an AI music generator. Really cool. Generate some nice stuff. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to download the audio from here. And this song is called My Dad's on TikTok. And now I fear for the internet. And we're going to upload that into the game to see if it actually works. So let's plug in the MP3 there. And then we'll start the game. Dance, looks more like a fight. Snapping fingers wrong while his pants too tight. Thinks he's in a cypher rapping his old school jams. But his balls are softer than microwave. So, if I had to pick one, I'm going with Gemini. To be fair, like, that was insane. You could basically match the game to the music. Use whatever song you want. The upload actually worked. And the idea was genius. Gemini won. 3-2 there. Both of those models were very impressive. Bear in mind, Gemini is also free as well. So you can go with it for free inside AI Studio. If you want all the links to all this stuff, all the resources, all the prompts, etc. And even some information on Suno and all that sort of stuff. Feel free to get it inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments and description. And appreciate you watching, peeps, all right? So we're just going to close that. Also, we're giving away free AI trainings inside here pretty much daily, sometimes twice a day, as you can see. Very active community. And this comes with all of our best trainings. It's completely free. Link in the comments and description. Inside there as well, if you need more help, if you need more coaching support, etc., if you want to join an awesome community, feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments in the description. Appreciate you watching, and you now know who won, right? So if we had to put a winner, it's going to be Gemini. It was very close, but bear in mind as well, AI Studio is free, and it's only getting better. So, yeah, absolutely amazing stuff. Mind-blowing what you can build with it these days.